So, question four then from paper two of the old, higher paper then, 2015, we've got area. Area between curves. Except it looks unnecessarily cumbersome here with all of these fractions. Don't really see the point in that. In fact, looking through the rest of the paper, it seems a lot harder than previous years. It's almost as if they're trying to punish schools for sticking with the old hire when the new hire was available. What's part A then? Find the x-coordinate of the point of intersection of the graphs with the equations fx and gx. So that's this point at the top then. So I'll have to pick out what their equations are. So that means that f of x is a quarter of x squared minus a half of x plus 3. And it will intersect with a quarter of x squared minus 3 upon 2x plus 5. Well, the x quarters of x squared will cancel out. Bringing the 3 upon 2 over makes that just an x equals, and subtracting the 3 makes that a 2. So at least that part was straightforward. Now part B. It says the graphs of f of x and h of x intersect on the y-axis, so that'll be the starting point. And there's a vertical axis of symmetry, so the two halves are the same. What's the area of that wall plate? Well, that just means you need to do one half, and that's why you had to find that point there. So the area of the whole thing for part B will be twice the integral from 0 to 2. 2, 2 cubed to the middle, you just need to work out this area here and then double it, of f of x minus h of x. Right, we have to be careful with this bundle now. What's f of x? f of x was the quarter x squared minus the half x plus 3 subtracting the lower curve, which is the h of x, that's the 3 eighths of x squared minus 9 fourths of x plus 3, all times dx. Now tidy that lot up. So it's from 0 to 2 of. So there's three terms. No, constants will go. A quarter minus 3 eighths, that's 2 eighths minus 3 eighths would be minus 1 eighth. So it's minus an eighth of x squared. Now the x's We've got minus a half plus 9 upon 4. So that's 9 upon 4 minus a half. 9 upon 4 minus 2 upon 4. That's 7 upon 4. And 3 minus 3 goes. So it's not quite so bad. Now, you could, if you've already said it's going to be double that area, put that 2 inside and make those fractions a little bit less daunting. I would do that, but maybe you haven't, so I'll just leave it outside. So 2 times, now we go through the process. And here it gets worse because integrating lifts the power up to a 3, that means you've got to divide by a 3. So that means you've got an 8 and a 3 underneath, so that's going to go to 1 over 24. Will this be any better? Power 1 goes up to power 2, divide by that 2, won't cancel with the 7, so that gets worse at 7 eighths to be evaluated. Next line, as before, substitutions, so you've got negative 1 24th of 2 cubed and 7 eighths of 2 squared but luckily it's just going to be minus 0 and I presume it's allowed just to put in minus 0 I'll put it in twice just to show that now at this point you can just press the buttons in your calculator because it is paper 2 but I'm not that's 8 over 24 minus 8 upon 24 plus and that's 4 that'll knock that down to that will cancel and make that a 7 upon 2. I know I could have knocked that down. I should have done that, actually. I should have made that down to a third. That was just daft. Down to a third. Minus nothing. So that I'm going to have 2 times a number of sixths. How many sixths are there? Well, there'll be 3 times that is 21. Minus 2 is 19. And the 2 and the 6 will cancel. Finally, give me the area equal to 19 upon 3 square units. It's a calculator paper, so you could use a calculator, but you probably find that the calculator is a bit of a handicap actually when you've got to type these fractions in. It's easy when you can just look at these and know that they cancel.